I'm here with Stefan from Motorola, no, Lenovo now, and uh, he's going to give us a closer look at one of the mods that really impressed us, and that was the projector. Stefan, this is not a new concept. I've seen devices like this, but this is the first one I've seen that snaps onto the back of the phone, has its own battery, and actually has a couple of features to distinguish it as a projector. Tell me about the projector mod. Yeah, well, let me start with the device first, which is this is our new um, Moto Z. And we have Moto Z and Moto Z Force. And you can see there's these connectors, these 16 pins on the back that allow for this modularity so I can connect many different devices onto the back of it to make a better phone or add capabilities that I couldn't do otherwise. So the projector is a great example where I attach this to the back. It uses magnets, attaches right on. I'm not even looking, and it attaches right on there. Boom, it's on. And uh, now if I just power on the projector here, I've got about an hour of playback with the projector. So great for, you know, kids who are, want to show videos to their friends that they created or photos that they shared. Usually everybody crowds around one tall, tiny screen. Now they have one big screen that they can share everything with. So if you see here, uh, let me power it on. Uh, you can see here, this gives you an idea. Um, if I move it up here, it readjusts. I can obviously watch it on the ceiling, which a lot of people like to do when they're sitting in bed. Uh, and this video basically will run for an hour. This is about 50 lumens, so quite bright. I can spread, span it out to about 70 inches, so nice big display depending on how dark it is or light is. The conditions here aren't super great, but pretty good, so you can get an idea of the video. Um, this product, uh, what's nice about it is, again, I just snap it off, and then maybe later I want to snap on a power pack to actually get more charge in my phone. I can do that. Or later, if I want, I can just snap on uh, a, the JBL speaker and play my music. So uh, it's very versatile, modular phone. I can do lots of different things with it. The ideas that we have here are just the beginning. We really like the modularity of the devices, especially using the, the magnetic uh, connection. It, it actually reminds me of another Lenovo product that I've seen the last two years, their, their stack. Was, was, is that a carryover from Lenovo, or was this developed entirely by Motorola? This is something that we've been working on Motorola for quite some time, different um, thoughts around modularity. We've been looking at this for years. You know, As the smartphone market begins to uh, have longer replacement cycles, consumers are finding less and less reasons to replace their phones. We started to see part of the reason why was because they were looking for more capabilities than a phone could deliver in the package that it's in. So we said, okay, well, we want to solve the problem of making infinite capabilities for a user so they can make their phone better together with other devices uh, and other brands that basically they might be familiar with that they wouldn't use, uh, that wouldn't build a phone themselves, like JBL, for example. Um, so you're going to see more and more partners. We just released a developer kit today so that people can start to um, submit ideas, and you're going to see more and more products from other partners and other brands that will pair very well with the Moto Mods. I love the projector. I love the fact that it does the auto keystoning so the image looks good. I love the fact that it has an internal battery so you can run it for an hour before you even start to draw power from the phone. But something else that has me interested is the fact that you were able to pull both video and audio from the phone through that, was it a 16-pin connector? Yes. Do you... Do you intend to expand upon that? Because one of the, the movements that we've been having is to have your mobile device be the only computer you carry. If I've got an extension that is more than just a dock and more than just a USB-C connector, but true 16-pin connectivity to the internal circuitry, yes. does that mean that this phone could, with a new device, become the only PC I carry? Well, one example you might have saw during the tech world that was promoted at the end from the Innovation Lab was a concept where you basically put it as a one compute, you put it in a dock, and basically you have a, uh, a laptop there. It's got a keyboard, or not a laptop, but a desktop where it's got a keyboard and a screen. So this could be your one compute platform where you just drop this in, and you're using that, and that's your device that you use at home. You could pop it in at work and what have you. So yes, you can imagine lots more infinite possibilities than just simply the devices that clip on here, but it could expand into larger components and other things. That's the beauty of releasing a developer kit is we only have so many ideas ourselves, but the world has many more creative ideas and many more creative smart guys out there from many different companies that can build on this platform. Now we're going to be going up to one computer in just a bit to check out the platform, but Stefan, thank you so very much for showing off the mods. If they wanted to find out more about Motorola, about what Mo Motorola is doing now that it's part of Lenovo, and what you have coming out in the future, where should they go? They should go to Motorola.com or they can go to MotoMods.com and there there's all the information on the new Moto Mods and the Mo new Moto Z and Mo new Moto Z Force. Thanks again for talking to Thank us. Thank you, appreciate it. Motorola, Lenovo, it's a mod, 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 mod world.